بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay now in this video I'm going to explain you what are the options you can do what are there are plenty of things you can do I'm going to list out those options and I'll show you in the DNS center where exactly those options reside So the first thing before I go ahead if you try to uh, see in the previous I have already discussed about the Cisco DevNet sandboxes and for DNS center I'm going to use this one always on option right now to show the options here So when you click on this it is going to load the particular topology and access to the DNS center you can click on this URL and access so already I do have access so this is something how you do here but whereas if you if you are doing in the real production networks probably the DNS center you do have an IP address so what you'll be doing is you are going to type in the IP address using some HTTP and then type in the IP address and then you will be entering some login username and the password just like we are entering here this one so this is like the replacement and this username and the password you'll be using uh, whatever you have created during the installation process okay so you need to enter your uh, username and the password whatever you have used at the time of uh, login again so whatever the password you have created at the time of installation so there's a separate installation Uh, steps might be uh, present with a command line. You have to do that. You can refer some uh, DevNet uh, the DNS Center materials or videos. You'll find them. So once your DNS Center device is ready, now you can access. So you can see here I'm accessing via this option. Now this is your home page. Now in the home page you'll find three different uh, three different options. Like the first one is network snapshot. and then you have network configuration tab and the third one is like tools so most of the options reside here so we'll be using these uh, options to move now the next network snapshot is more like assurance option where it is going to display the the number of sites devices and the profiles being applied the images used the dna licensed uh, devices options so all this you'll find here and likewise uh, if you if you want to make any kind of changes we go to the network configuration uh, tab here and again even you have some specific tools where you can jump in directly from this option instead of going from here so at then you know again either you use option here or here the both are same okay so let's let's see one by one what are the things we can do with a cisco dns center so the first one starting with Uh, something called we can discover your your network devices now discovery is nothing but you you can scan the devices in your network and send those discovered devices to the inventory list like if you go to the dns center home page you'll find an option in the tools if you scroll down you have an option something called discovery and what this discovery option is going to do is you it will use some kind of discovery tools like you can see here discovery is enabled and it is going to display the discover devices and i clicked on uh, see the discoveries you can see here these are the different discovery options what you have and this discoveries how many devices has been discovered or identified in your network and those device details and these device details are automatically added to the inventory list Now again inventory list is like the list where your device information will be present i'll be coming to that now here you cannot make any kind of discoveries because as this lab is the always on read only lab you cannot make any changes so but if you are reserving the dns center labs using the reserve option you can find an option called add a new discovery and you can uh, create a new discovery also to discover your devices in your network So let's say I have some hundred devices in your network. Uh, probably uh, you have just connected new devices in your network, and you want these devices to be identified. Now, what I can do is I can run this discovery option, and with the help of discovery option, we use CDP option, or I can define the IP range also. There are different options in that. Now, based on that, it's going to identify the device and add those devices into the inventory list. Okay. so that that's what a discovery option is about identifying your devices and adding them to the inventory list 
And once the devices are added to the inventory list, now with the help of DNS center, we can manage those inventory list. Like with, with this inventory, I can retrieve the information about my devices present in a network, like what is the IP address, what is the MAC address, and then uh, where it, uh, the network attachment point or about the, the complete devices uh, inside your database, okay? So you can find these options if you go to the home page. Now probably in the home page, again, you have this option inside the tools. You will have something called inventory option. So you can either go to the tools. If you don't find this option here, means I don't have access to that option here. So if you don't have an option on the home page, but still you can go to the provision and then you can go to the devices and you click on this device, this inventory. Now here you can see all the list of devices which are being identified. You can see all the details here, like what is a family, what type of device it is, where exactly that particular device, on which side it is present, and the reachability status, the MAC address information, and the device role, like whether it is an access level or distribution level device, the images used, and you can see if you scroll down, there is a lot of information you can find here. And what is the device series as well? And what is the platform using? All those details. So the the job of the inventory is, inventory list is going to, again, whatever the device is discovered, it is going to do some kind of polling for every 25 minutes, which is a default, where it is going to check the availability of those devices, just like uh, ensuring that these devices uh, exist or not. And you can see these devices based on specific sites. If you if you select a specific site and it will show you what are the devices present on that particular site. So whenever you make any changes, automatically these are updated. Now this is one option. And apart from that, it also helps you to manage the software images. Now inside the DNS center, we do have uh, some specific option. The name, I think it is something called image respiratory. That is actual tab or the option you will find in the DNS center. Now in this image respiratory, it is going to store all the software images. Like let's say we got some routers and switches, the iOS images, it will be stored like image type, image version. And what we can do is we can also import a new image. We can view the image details as well as we can delete the software images. Now you can, you can find this option probably inside the design. If you go to inside the design, and then there is something called image respiratory. Now this image respiratory is going to display the different uh, family of devices and the image used. And what I can do is I can provision a specific image to a specific platforms. Like I can designate a specific image to specific devices in the network. Even there is an option, something called golden images. Now the golden images are like the valid image which is designated for specific platform. Like let's say I have a 4300 IL router and I want to designate some image, XYZ image 15.6 and I want to assign this as a golden image. Which means now all the platforms, the specific platforms, they will be, the, the DNS center will ensure that they all uses this golden image. And in case if they are not using, let's say there are some platforms, some devices which are not using this image. So probably we can schedule automatic, uh, automatic kind of, you know, upgrade to the, to this particular golden image, or you can do it manually as well. And after, after it will dynamically upgrade the software, it will also report back whether that particular uh, image update has been successful or not and the results of that. So most of the image related options we do here, manage uh, software images. Now, apart from that, with DNS center, you can also display your network topology. Now displaying network topology means, let's say if I go to my DNS center and let's go to the tools and here you can find the topology tab. So when you click on that, it is going to display the graphical view of your network. So the DNA is going to discover the devices uh, using the discovery option and probably 
the settings has been assigned in the inventory, like the devices are listed in the inventory. And now the DNS center is going to build the physical topology with a detailed uh, device information. Like here you can see when I click on this specific sites, on the left side you can see this is like global and your topology view, how they are connected. And of course you can also view in the, in the form of map, depending upon the locations you assign, the address you provide. And these are the specific sites. When you select the specific sites, it will show you the devices present in that specific sites. And again, in that specific site, you can have something like building details, the building and then specific floor also. You can also view the floor details as well. Some, something like detailed information. And when you click on that device, again, you will get more, more information about on the individual devices. And if I click on the link, probably that link, it is going to provide you the link information also, like what device it is connected and what is the interface and the IP address, those information also it is going to provide. Now, additionally, you have an option of like a filter where you can uh, display only the VRF specific, specific VRF uh, topology also you can see, specific VLAN related inform topology or routing or tagging kind of thing. You can filter, depending upon the filter options you apply, it is going to re-show uh, you the topology according to those filter options.